Hello, True Art Believers, and welcome to this week's installment or episode of the Artist Interview Series. And today, we have fantastic, amazing, awesome, fun, fun, <laughs> May Chan. May Chan, how are you doing today? Good. Good? Yeah. So you were, you were just, we were just, uh, uh, we had a lot of things going on before we we even started this this uh, uh, this live stream. Uh, one thing that you mentioned you you uh you did a bunch of things because your day, your day's ending. Yeah, your day's about it's wrapping up. My day's just beginning because of the, the 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 time uh, uh, gap between this conversation. So your day's ending. When you said that you you had like uh, dinner, what'd you yeah. have? Hello. Yeah. Yes. What'd you have for dinner? Uh, you sort of broke breaking out a little bit. Again. Am I breaking out again? Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! How how about now? How about now? little bit it's like you have a little delay kind of thing and you have like a, like a sound effect to your voice there's a there's a, there, there's a delay now um no it's not it's it's we don't have we, do we have a delay now or do you cannot can you not hear me it's... we're gonna try a different thing again Sorry? we're gonna okay. try a different thing How about now? Uh, Can you hear me now? No? It's still weird. It's because I'm using the the uh, the mic on the, the on the camera. Is it a little is it like low? Just keep talking. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, now I totally couldn't hear you. You're totally silent, but you can hear me. Weird. I can't hear you right now. Yeah, totally can't hear you. You're like totally muted out. How about now? Okay, cool. Yes, loud and clear. <laughs> Oh gosh, uh, this this hasn't been the first time it's happened. The only reason why you can hear me now is because I'm using this. Here, here's something funny. Actually, uh, we were just talking about this. We were just talking about mics and yeah. how uh, uh, we were having. I was having problems with mics yep. and uh, how I need upgrade. Uh, <laughs> and it's it's this hasn't been the first time that uh, we've had this issue. Um, so we basically had like four minutes of delayed time, uh, which, which happens, um, okay. <laughs> it wouldn't be the worst time actually, I've, I've, I've had it and we weren't, we weren't able to finish, like fix the problem. Wow. Uh, so, and, uh, it was near the end. So wow. I, I'm probably, I'm probably going to sound kind of like, like I'm kind of talking from a distance because I'm using okay. the, using the camera mic so it's not going to be as, uh, uh, just, it's okay so is I mean, it, it's not, it's not i can hear you you're loud and yeah i mean it's not yeah like, am i okay over there oh yeah you're you're l loud i can hear you you're doing great cool. all right um so what i was asking um is what'd you have for dinner what would you eat um well today like, i kind of had what i had i had we had the uh thai the pork thai basil rice with the fried egg um and then water and um and and then we kind of had the um jackfruit which we bought earlier today for lunch so we bought yeah. like a huge box of it and it's it's honey jackfruit man dude if, if, if you guys if you can get a whole of honey jackfruit over there go for it man it's the best thing ever what's honey what's honey get fruit honey jack jackfruit honey jackfruit what is it yeah. what's that um, it's it's kind of like um, a a fruit, 
um, it's it's little it's 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 yellow and skin is dark yellow and it has a big a seed in there. So you need to remove the seed, you know, to to well, or you can just eat and remove whichever way. And it's really really sweet. The the texture of the um, jackfruit it's it's dense, um, but the sweetness, man, it's awesome. It's it's literally natural sugar, but not like sugar like as in it's, it's, it's very honey like you know sugar fruit yeah sugar but, fruit yeah it's really sweet so, i mean it's not like sugar sweet it's natural sweetness like how honey is right so it's really really packed with vitamin c and um it's really good for for breakfast i guess um not really good idea if you want to eat it at night which i just did holy crap <laughs> <laughs> So, so May, did you, did you uh, do any art today? Did you make anything? What? Did you work on any art today? Uh oh, I, you're cracking, cracking. I, I thought, uh uh, I can't hear you. Can, can you use a camera mic? I can't hear you though. Can you use a camera mic? Did you work on any art today? Huh? Sorry? Yeah, I can um I can't hear you now. Can you use the camera mic? The, yes, I I'm, I'm working on the camera mic now. Really? Yes. It's so weird, man. I um you were okay just now, but now you're big. Now am I silent? Huh? Can you hear me? S um fifty percent, yes. Fifty percent? Oh my goodness. So um what did you what did you do what kind today? of artwork did you yeah what kind of artwork did you make today or did uh, you not make any artwork i well you know had lunch chill out um then um like start on my my work well it's this piece i'm working on which is um different from the colored ones which i showed you it's actually like a whole black and white thing let me see if i can swim it around if i can swim it around wait uh oh there we go. Hold on, yeah. So it's this um, random piece which I was working on to take a. It's actually like a taking a break from doing all the colorful stuff which I'm doing as usual because it's. I mean, I can't really like stick on one stuff for the longest time. I can, but after a while, it gets really um, monotonous. So this piece I'm doing will be an ever continuous growing piece. And we, you can okay. Let me see. You can. You guys can see it. Yeah. Hold on. Let me just. Let me just switch it here. Okay. So yeah, this is. Oops. So this is a pretty huge piece. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. So it will be continuous. Um. Eventually, I will need to stick it onto a. Uh, maybe a four by five feet board um, and then continue on sticking stuff on it and randomly drawing shit over each other, layering and yeah, I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll probably stop when I feel like I need to or when I got, when I get bored of drawing for a while and then I'll hop back on, I'll hop back on to this piece. Can you see this piece? Yes. Oh. Yeah, I'll hop back on for this piece when I am done drawing. Or I don't know, it depends on how I feel, right? So yeah. I should stop midway towards the black and white and continue back this one and go back and forth because um so because before dot piece I was doing I finished this piece. Whoop, can you guys see oh crap. Whoop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? So Yeah, so what What's that piece about? So that piece is basically um, a three by three feet, three by three feet on the board. So this, uh -huh. this one is the MDF board, right? So MDF. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like this a um, recycled material kind of board. Um, it's, it can be thin, it can be thick. Mine's the thinnest one. So I got this from my friend who's a who's a framer, and um, so. This one is basically um, my kawaii kaiju. 
and it has more of a, a Malaysian thing going on. That's most of it. I I, I put in the like, Malaysian theme. So this little 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 fella, you see, okay, let me search. If you see this little thing here, we call as you know the Milo, the malt, the chocolate malt drink. Uh huh. Right. Right. Yeah. So the reason why there's a dinosaur there is we actually call the drink Milo dinosaur. A dragon Milo dinosaur. Yeah, we call it a Milo dinosaur because um, you see this part here, this little bits of the, the whole heel of uh, Milo powder. We actually pile it high onto the on top of the drink itself, right? And then yeah, you can just you can you can choose to remain it there, or you want to store it or whatever not. So it's it's kind of like a extra extra topping of chocolate malt powder. <laughs> <laughs> so that is cut that and I would say that every every Malaysian kids dream um chocolate malt drink lah basically. I know it's full of sugar and shit, but yeah, we we, we love it, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's kinda of like a treat for us. So that's why I put it there and, and it's and it, and it's kind of reminiscent of like a like a childhood thing lah, you know. And yeah, yeah so so this basically this this is so basically this fell oh crap. So basically, um, he. I'm sorry. I'm trying to adjust. So he um, eats a lot, and he's actually riding on a uh, middle trapeze. Um, I don't know. Some. It's a. Um, it's a stall on wheels, which with um, rocket fire, right? Uh -huh. And and let me, see, let me see if I can look a little bit closer to you guys. I can see that little. Oops, angle, angle sucks, angle. And, and you said this uh, was on MDF, right? That's medium density fiberboard, is that correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a, yeah I would say I would say it's a fiberboard. Yeah, you see, you see the little propeller there? Oh, yeah. Can you see it? Oh, man. I'm I can see wings. The, yeah, hold on, hold on, let me just... No, 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 no. Okay, so I feel like, like I'm going to... A ride, uh, a, a picture <laughs> ride that I can't really control. But that's the cool part, right? <laughs> so what, what? What material? What is it? What kind of paint is this made out of? Is this like a, a, a acrylic and ink, or what? What's what's this made from? Um, what, you mean the board or the artwork? The the artwork. What are you using? Um, acrylic markers, all pastels, mostly acrylic markers, and then. The little wings part and this part you see here, right? You see that the ice kacang, not oh, crap. Um, wait, wait, let me just turn it around a little bit, it's just easier. Okay, that works in most. Um, this little part where it's, okay, let me go further around. I'm not sure because I'm not... Okay, see a little, little ice bird thing? Yeah, it looks like ice cream or something. Yeah, so, so basically those are, painted on papers which are stuck okay. there and then i use transparent close black kind of paper drew on it drew on it separately stuck on it so it looks and then i stuck some foam tape in it so it looks a bit 3d ish uh -huh. like as yeah so um the reason why i did this was because i have this thing about um trying to make the whole painting look like it's um uh, it's like riso print uh -huh. Riso, Riso, Riso printing, right? But it's not. It's actually hand painted, handmade, and that was basically um, how I figured out the process to to achieve this piece. So yeah, I mean, I, I took me like probably I started experimenting with this, or what I want to do, or how I want to achieve this um, early this year. Uh -huh. And only like last month or so, when I finished this piece, I'm like, okay, cool. I really know how to. I finally figure out, you know, the process behind it, and you know, and what I want to do, um, to achieve that whole um. 3D, uh, not 3D, uh, but it's more like the whole um layering effect, where at one angle you see this, and the other angle it's like, hmm, what's that, you know? So um, I try. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to make my artwork a bit more playful. Oh yeah. And yeah, and then I'm trying to show you the propeller. It's not working. Oh man, because you can actually play with it. Play with the propeller. 
Um, oh, I see it. Tilt it downward. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Tilt it down. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Let me just. There we go. Okay, so you got yeah. a little, a little bit of a, 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 a interaction there. Yep. So these ones, um, I'm actually using. My plan is to actually um, to even for the one behind me, which you see, um, that's going to be how I make it move and everything is actually a combination of papers and Legos. <laughs> Legos. Yeah, so so the whole gearing part and everything, I'm actually using Legos for that and figure out. I was figuring out how am I supposed to make it like move and stuff, right? So I thought, hmm, what if I use Lego? Because if I were to actually um build the little parts on my own, be like I was I was scratching my head basically, right? To figure out yeah. how the hell am I supposed to do that? I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm just use Lego. Give it a give it a go, right? Let's see how it really goes, comes out. So I'm like, hey, this is a pretty cool, right? Okay, la. so I'm gonna like, you know, use Legos for most of the moving parts of my artwork. So it's gonna be fun. The one, the one that you see behind me will mm -hmm. have little, um, little, um, how would you say, little things hanging down from from a floating cinema screen, which this guy is watching on, which is got which this guy is watching. So it have little little levers or a wind up thing and little baskets, right? So inside the little baskets will be little snacks where like little little cinema snacks kind of stuff, right? So it, it's, it's really playful. So you can actually wind it up and then the basket holding little snacks goes up and down or however you wind it. So I'm, I'm putting actually that, that play, that playfulness and the fun stuff in, onto the artwork actually. So that's, that's that. That's the more playful approach. Whereas the one you just saw, the black and white one, that is utterly random crazy shit, which, which apparently I did ask a few, a few opinions of my other artist friend and they're like, hey, this, this one, I was like, wait, 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 which one? You know the black one? I was like, yeah, the black and white one. So they, they, they told me that, you know, you should like continue on that for now. I'm like, really? He said, yeah, that's good. Then that's awesome. I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I'm like, okay, we'll, we'll see how we'll see. Maybe I'll continue with it. I'll, you know, uh, I'm not sure yet, but I guess, um, right now I, i'm pretty um how we say it? it's like um your heart set on my heart set on just having fun with the black and white one because i, I don't have to think when i do this compared to the, the kaiju's one which i had to figure out okay i want to do this like this and how do i you know more of a thinking part um, rather than um just go with the flow for the compact like for the black and white one with the one i just showed you guys yeah so yeah you know so it's one's free flow and one is more structured because i've been doing these structured ones for the past one month plus and i got nope no 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 nope nope <laughs> i need to like break free man they're too structured for you sometimes because i already know because i already know what um what i want to do right and then sometimes mm -hmm. i i feel like oh okay okay um how would you say it's a bit predictable ish mm -hmm. um and and you know what i mean as, as i uh, so i kind of like okay now i'll just take a break from looking at colors because i've been like because at the back you see there's lots of colors and lots of layers of colors and i'm like okay i'm gonna take a break from colors for a while i haven't been drawing for the longest time so okay took a couple took a couple of um, um pieces of magazines like um ikea ikea catalog or whatever shit and just stuck on like stuck on them the art blog or whatever, whatever cardboard i had and then it grew <laughs> so it grew until like how i'm showing you and I'll, I'll probably need to stop once i get the board from my friend then i'll actually have to figure out okay how am i supposed to take this big, big piece of random misshapen jigsaw thing onto the board that i have to figure out like later on now once I get the board but now I'm like yeah whatever I'm just gonna go with the flow first until I get the board so I don't think about how am I supposed to <laughs> it's it's kind of funny because uh um it, you um those those kaiju pieces are are meant to be really playful and fun and, and like uh, uh childlike but they also have like the the most pre-planning and structure to them yeah so like you're you have these these tension right you're like mm -hmm. Like I'm not supposed to be 
planning these things, but I am. Mm -hmm. And so, um, which is weird. You think, oh, well, someone, this is all playful and fun. The, uh, it, we don't think about the, the work having, um, like a process before it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's weird, right? I mean, I never really, really realized it until I started doing it, which is, I think that's the fun part of just doing it and then realizing yeah. that, huh, this may take some time. This may take some more of a, of a structured way of, of making it rather than la 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 la. I'm just gonna like whack some paint. I'm gonna like, you know, whatever structure, I'm just whack it. I'm like, mm. although I am the kind of person who's like, I just wanna whack it sometimes. But um, I, I think sometimes I need, sometimes to achieve what I wanna do, sometimes it's, it needs a little bit of structure, I guess. Which, yeah. Yeah, and sometimes I guess a bit too long doing structured stuff, I feel, ugh. Okay, I need to I need to break free for a while and just do some wild random drawing. I used I used to I used to call I used to call it doodling, but I don't really like it anymore because um, doodling has not much of a purpose as in it's just aimless, pointless. There's no idea behind it. Whereas right now, I think the drawing I'm doing it has sort of a purpose. Where this black and white one, which you, which I showed you guys. I'm actually naming this series. Um, there's two names. To, I mean, there's two sets, two sets of names. One of it, I'm actually calling it um, distractions interrupt. Uh, what? Distracted interruptions, right? And then another one, I was thinking either naming that, either calling them distracted interruptions or uh, disruptive interruptions. Either one. I'm not sure yet, but it's it's it's, it's one of those, right? So. The, the reason why I named, named them disruptive and interruption is because that um, the the layered parts and, and the whole random different strokes uh, mediums of, of I'm using in this artwork is because it's to just to break away from the norm, break away from um, what I do every day, break away from, oh, look at that pretty, you know, cute kawaii character. And then I'm going to hit it with like random big, brush strokes which is it goes over it to like yeah, I don't know um probably like shock the hell out of people like what the hell is she doing that's a that's like a decent you know cute looking character and she just whacked it with him like yeah so I mean yeah it's, it's supposed to like force people to to um not think but whoa it's <laughs> just to freak you out you know what I mean so because um and I think that that was the whole purpose of me doing this was just to um i guess for me as an artist to just let go sometimes because because i mean i mean we do let go but but it's just different like the ones i'm doing in the back you, i can't let go too much because if i let go too much and just nah, just do a random show and be like shit no 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 it's you not know? gonna look good yeah so this piece I, i'm enjoying because i'm just letting myself go having a having a go having fun with it and if I do a couple of pieces more, I'll see where it goes, you know. And, and I don't want to just stop doing this because I think it's, it's pretty cool and it's fun. And it gives me a whole leverage of the ones I'm doing in the back, which is more... It's still fun. Like, you know, like I said, it's, it's very contradictive where it's fun and playful, but there's a process behind it. So it, it, I would say it would, it would be like a very cool balance la, in between the colored ones and the black and white ones because I mean you never know what will happen to stuff when you do it randomly right and and it looks and it's fun and then you, you have fun making it and people and people tend to take attention of maybe the this random one. I mean who knows right so yeah I'm just gonna continue making these crazy black and white pieces I'm actually also um asking people on Facebook to give me to uh, anyone who's, who's um actually have old stash of magazines <laughs> so I should ask. I thought like ask people like if you you can. So if anyone's like you know have like old magazines, please send them to me or please deliver them to me because I, I I want I was because I'm, I um I'm working on this series of art which I need to you know cut out random you know paper collage ish thing as you can see from there and I draw over them and stuff. Another idea I was thinking actually um for the next piece the next black and white piece is to um. If I can get my hands on a more fashion theme kind of stuff going on, I was actually thinking of, um, you know how like when you, you draw it over on the magazine, right? Like you do 
illustrating like drawing Marcus Long magazine, and then yeah. and then it's like it's just it's just there once you finish, correct? It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't expand. So I'm thinking like, you know what? Next time I get those magazines, I'm gonna like draw the uh, halfway through the, the the page over the character or the model, rip the damn thing out, stick onto the, the large board and start. And that will be starting point of, you know, of whatever it's gonna end up looking like. You know what I mean? So it's more of like, yeah, let's just freaking do it and not think and and yeah, and go with it. You know, as 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 one well, my. Good friend Nicholas Chong, he's an artist as well, and he's my art mentor. Oh wow! His yeah, so his 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 favorite phrase, right to say whenever I'm like, you know, I'm not really sure, blah blah blah. Then he go, hey man, you know what? You know what you should do? I said what? Just whack it. And I'm like, really? Yeah, just 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 whack it. I'm like, okay, if you say so, okay, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I'm like, okay lah. So now I am literally doing what he used to tell me, like we just whack it. I'm like, okay lah. So I'm literally whacking it um, as I go along. Okay, it sounds really wrong, but it's it's. Not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. So so uh, do you consider yourself a, a like a um organized person or a disorganized person? Because you you kind of working with both at, both at the moment. Okay. Um. I'm weird. I am a little bit of both. Um, with me having a background as a as a designer, right? We I tend to be OCD on a lot of stuff, especially when it comes to work stuff, as in um, naming of files and organization of files and the workflow and shit like that. So that that to me, I'm pretty much OCD lah. Um, I'm also with like my working space. Hmm, that's contrary of my OPD <laughs> when it comes to workflow and stuff like that. Um, I'm, I'm right now, as you um, can see behind me, it's a, it's a bit of a mess. Yeah, so, so I'm, I'm, I'm already having plans to actually um, Marie Kondo the crap out of my studio space, which is, my, <laughs> which is, which is my living room. So I, I've been planning to like, okay, get, get those boatless bolt, um, those boatless metal shelves thing you can build it on your own, just whack the mallet or whatever it calls, right? So I'm thinking of getting those and a bunch of storage boxes and shit and um, some stuff, some stuff like those, uh, um, whatever, uh, what was that? Um, sliding thing, drawer thing from Ikea. What, what this the is drawings? Like, Flat yeah, files? Yeah the, yeah, the sliding drawer thing, you know, so which you can just attach onto the, the metal shelves or whatever, not so you can just... I don't know. I have to figure some shit out. So basically, that and then storage boxes and yeah, some DIY stuff from certain shelves which I have, which which certain shelves or boxes which I have with me since the longest time. Cause those boxes were for, for, for my mom's, so I I kind of like took over and uh, shelf my stuff in there, like books mm -hmm. and whatnot. So yeah, I I think. Next month, uh, sorry, this month and next month, almost I need I need to plan out to restructure my space. Um, yeah. So I am a little bit of both. Um, I I've, I've how how I got started with my Marie Kondo shit right is um I was running out of space to put up put my pins and my pens. Speaking of my pens and markers, it's it's I lost count. My boyfriend was telling me, you know, I swear you have at least thousand plus freaking pants and markers. And I'm like, I don't know, I don't count, I lost count, I, I stopped counting. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so I, 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 uh, I started, I bought two trolleys from Ikea and then the, the, the two trolleys there. And then it's like, hmm, I think I shall do a whole makeover shit for the, for the, for the space and put it properly because I think that would be useful. To know where my you know my pain side and everything and I, I guess once I get once I get the shelves up and stuff, man, my O C D of color coordinating stuff will be like, you know, full on la. Like Monica Geller would be so proud of me. So so yeah, so that that that's in the plan. And as you were saying that con um organized, disorganized, um a little bit of both. Both, I think. Yeah. Do you 
<laughs> when you uh, when you uh, do you find that the the busier you get, like with your art, the mm -hmm. more uh, uh, disarray or disorganized your studio space kind of gets. Mm, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Especially, okay. especially, especially when you start working and you're doing, you're just like cranking out lots of work, right? You're just like, oh, yeah. I'm done, and then I'm done, and then, like, and then you don't have to, like, I don't want to spend my time clean, uh, filing my drawing. I want to go back to drawing. I'll deal with this after this so. whole spiel of of getting work done. Yeah. So that yeah. yeah. That's, because I just by looking at your drawing, you showed me your 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 uh, improvisational like drawing in front of you. I got yeah. that feeling where like oh, yeah, Maze is is going to town on this drawing. I don't think she uh -huh. wants to even bother with cleaning up anything around. Yeah, yeah. and I I uh, um I looked at some of your sketchbook work. Is, is is that sketchbook work? It looks like it's sketchbook work in your in in on your Instagram page. Is that Sorry? or can you hear me? Uh, oh no, crackling, crackling. I'm crackling again. Crackling. Oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna give. <laughs> no worries, no worries. How about now? Now, can you repeat again? Can you hear me now? Okay, cool. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Um, so what happens here? Here's what's gonna happen. Okay. Once I end this broadcast, oh, uh, not now. Again. It's happening again. <laughs> Oh gosh! How about now? <laughs> Can you hear me now? Uh, it, uh, five, one, two minutes ago, it was cool. How about how about now? Okay, uh, almost there. Almost there. Okay, now it's clear. So, so this was going to happen, uh, May. Okay. When I end, I end this broadcast. Uh, uh, Streamyard's going to say, "Did you have any problems? Uh, how did it go?" And I'm gonna put bad because yeah. uh, I'll be like, listen, I had to swap between mics the whole time. So like the whole time I was talking to you, I had to, I was swapping between yep. uh, this mic and this mic back and forth just to get it so we get it going. Uh, I so bad that I don't even know what I was gonna say. Uh, <laughs> I told it, yeah, man. It, I just lost my whole train of thought. Um, yeah. We were talking about. I totally did lose what I was gonna say. So uh, I, here's. But you you were saying that um, you're working on some love work, and they feel like don't feel like cleaning up at the moment, but you still like prefer it to clean up after. Yeah, it was gonna it was gonna segue into into a uh, into a, like a, a a point that I wanted to address. Oh, I think what I was pointing out to was your your some of your work um, that, I, that I saw on Instagram. Yeah, uh, looks like it's from sketchbook pages. Is that true? I see, like they're the. I see that they're folded in half. The what? Can you hear me? Uh, breaking up. Just, just almost fine. Before you put it, before you put your. Can you hear me? I'm cracking up, cracking, cracking. I'm cracking up. Oh man. <laughs> How about now? Mic, I think your mic is cracking up. I think How about now? Now it's almost there. Yeah, almost getting better. I really can't do anything. Uh, um, I, I can't do anything about that. I, I think it's the. I think it's the. I think it's stream yet, man. Stream yet. Stream it's my stream. Yet. Yeah. Okay. How about now? Okay. Yeah. So, um, I was going to ask about your sketchbook pages. Are are the, the the work that I see is it off based off sketchbook pages or not? What? Sorry. Is your work based off? Uh, is some of your work based off of your sketchbook? My Instagram? Yes. Uh-huh. Do you have some work that's based off your sketchbook? Do you uh, do a lot of sketchbook work? Um, I think for the digital ones you see on my Instagram, it's all basically done in, um, uh, what was it? Uh, Autodesk sketchbook. Um, okay. The photos, yeah. So the photos you've seen on the background is actually done, it's actually um, taken by my friend, um, Patrick. So, if he's 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 pretty cool with his um he's he's actually a an architectural um, photographer, and he takes photos of archit of uh, buildings and uh, um, cafes and 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 um, anything architectural structures are basically whether is it it's been fully from the part of the w of the construction to the end to the end 
to the end process lah, basically. Um, so I haven't met him yet because we're sort of like Instagram friends, and then I started following him, and I started like, hmm, um, figure like you know, um, what if I, I always always had this thing about, um, what if, uh, among all the cityscapes, I have my kaiju's behind it, and the idea behind that came from um, that I was just chilling at home, right? Because I'm staying in a condo and it's pretty high up. And I was like, hmm, I wonder what would it look like or what happens if um, I could actually draw my kaiju amongst the buildings or at whatever skyline I'm looking at. So yeah. that started the, the, the whole um, kaiju series where... Um, I chose a couple of photos from uh, Patrick's um, feed and I, to, I, asked, I actually asked him, hey, would it be cool if, if I could just take your photos and I draw my kaijus over it? And uh, like, it could be, yeah, at first it was just the buildings and kaiju and the kaiju interacting with the building itself. Yeah. And a lot of the buildings that he takes and whatever, whatever not landmarks are all local. So they're all like um, local Malaysian landmarks, which people pretty much um, are familiar with, like if you're Malaysian. Uh, um, so... And then eventually I was doing kaijus and kaijus interacting with the, the buildings or things around it. And um, I also, I suppose for me, I, I always seem to put some kind of food element there because, you know, I like, I like to eat, you know, food. And and, and if, if you come to Malaysia and, and us as Malaysians, the first thing we ask you is like, so have you eaten yet? You want to go eat? Let's go eat. Okay, this is the first thing we ask you. We don't say hi or whatever. We say, hey, are you hungry? Let's go eat. You know, so the first Good. thing we say to you. So, now. so so that yeah, so that's why um we, I tend to put a lot of food stuff or or drink or whatever not in 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 a majority of the pieces lah. And I asked so I asked so I asked Patrick so hey is it okay? So yeah yeah just choose whichever you want. And I chose a few and then um as you can see from my post um every time I post it up I will just. I will actually like include him in the tag as in like in the photos by Hart Patrick and his and his um I will Mary show. tag him on his, his IG there. And and also his reaction was like, hey, that is really cool. I mean I didn't know he didn't he likes he loves to see like how I put my kaijus and how it mm -hmm. interacts with his photos and yeah. especially the ones which um I think in Reza, I think this year itself I started taking yeah. So taking the, the photos of more photos of cafes and there's people in it. So the kaijus interacts with the person in the in the in the shot. So it's more fun, it's more engaging. And also that at one point I got fed up of drawing kaijus interacting with buildings and interacting with another kaiju. It's like, okay, let's make it more fun. Like, hmm, you know, so I tend I tend to prefer to change things up um after a while. Um it's it the main element is still there, but it's just changed a bit, um, a different perception, a bit, a different, a different point of view, kind of thing, or add stuff or remove stuff, so that it won't be the same damn thing, you know, every single post. And as for my my post right now, I I have a thing. If you, if you see my IG feed, um, I I started re I actually started rebranding it, um, how would you say, cup two years back. Because if you scroll really, really, really uh, up, right, the really early ones, the colors weren't that cool. There wasn't much of a branding going on. There wasn't much of a look and feel. Whereas um, now that you look at it, it has a more color coordinated um, feel to it. Because um, a friend of mine, she's a designer herself. She's she's a, she is a creative director and she owns um, Roadster. So, uh, so she told me that I needed to like rebrand my IG. I'm like, okay. So show me a few. She showed me a few examples of how I could, you know, um, rebrand my IG feed and uh, to to get more followers and stuff like that. So I think um, what so I actually started doing that and I removed all those, you know, yucky sort of um, lomography light filters from my from the artwork because she said that it's really the best is to actually see the artwork itself and not and just remove all those unnecessary filters which I did. And eventually, I, I came up with the strategy of um, using color coordinated backgrounds. As you can see, my time lapse videos. Uh, if you go, if you go further, if you scroll uh, down, I don't know whichever way you go. Um, so all the backgrounds I actually color 
coordinate them. <laughs> and oh, I yeah. actually yeah, and I actually bought like you know colored cardboards and stuff for the background whether whenever I'm doing any time lapse. As for the digital kaiju's one, I do follow so so I do follow up from the colors as well. So I actually choose um the, the photos of his photos which is similar color. If not, I actually tweak it in Photoshop on the, on the iPad and just, you know, tweak here and there, blah, blah, blah. And some of it, I actually tweak it in um, Autodesk Sketchup itself. So, mm-hmm. yeah. And then, and then my feet now, I'm, I'm really like totally, how we say, controlling my feet where I color coordinate shit. And right now, the latest one, it's a very dark, uh, a very dark blackish um, kind of feel to it right now. Because before this, before this was all white background, you know, yeah. white background, very clear. But now I'm like, oh, let's change it. I mean, it's still there. It's just that it's it's quite consistent. The background color is quite consistent. But yeah, so I'll, I'll, for, for me right now, I need to do two more digital posts just to finish off the dark, uh, broody background, but really crazy. Oh, uh, okay. You want to do it, it, six panels? Yeah, so the first, so yeah, so normally I'll go by six by six or nine or nine by nine or whichever, but I normally will, I normally will do six la, I guess, because nine by nine of it could be quite um, lengthy sometimes. And I, and I don't feel like doing all nine same stuff. <laughs> so either I tend to do six by six or three by three. So for this, I have, I'm going to add two more, um, two more of the, of like, the, the dark background ones yeah. with this crazy layered effect. So I think from 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 here, as you can see, if you go if you scroll uh, up, if you scroll up a little bit, um, the third. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, the the up, up, up a little bit, up a little bit down. Sorry, not up. Sorry, down. Down. Okay, okay, yeah, this one, the one, the 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 one on the far right with the little wings, this the fish. The, this one, yeah, the fish. the fish, this one, and this guy. So this guy actually was um, painted on, like, if you see the time lapse, it's actually painted on a huge, like a, like a art block kind of thing. So that was my first experiment to how I want to paint it on a larger scale, which I just yeah. show you with the little playful propeller thing. So I started from this one, and then I tried it on digital and see how it looks like and everything, getting the feel of it, and then, okay. I think I know what to do now, so so I'll just start on the larger ones. That's which is, you know, yeah. So just trying out stuff before I <clears throat> actually figure out how I do it. But on digital on the iPad, it's way much more easier, lah. You know, I just I just select his photos, um, and and, and see what I want to what color I want to go for it, and blah blah blah. And normally, I think for me, I will actually just select three to six. A minimum, I just select three, like three first, and then see how it goes, and then I'll then I'll do my thing on the iPad. Um, the digital ones will normally take me. It depends. Um, one two days maybe. Um, couple of hours, three to four. Uh, I think less. Um, if because on the iPads, I'm usually doing it at night, and during the day, I do on the work the the larger because I actually prefer. When working with colors, I actually prefer working during the day because you see, you actually see the proper color, right? Yeah. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like painting at night because it's like, it looks different when you see this next day. I'm like, shit, the hell is this color, dude? <laughs> you know, it's like, it looks different. So yeah. um, at night, at least now I'm doing the black and white one. I can still work on it at night because it's like, what color? You know, and there is, but it's like, you know, not so, it, it, there's, there's not much. Of a, of a shocking effect when you see next day. It's like, holy crap, what the hell did I do, you know? <laughs> so, so yeah, so, yeah, so I think that that's how, that's how my process is, like, you know, just to talk the something with the Instagram one. And um, so I actually start digital, wait, the smallest, um, the smallest format ever, and then I figure it out, and then I'll go big. So I would say that on Instagram, it's my testing out my testing point, my testing ground, my lab, you know, before I go to the larger artworks. So you do your, you do your, uh, some of your studies on Autodesk Sketchbook. 
Yeah, I I I am using now. Um, I am using um Autodesk Sketchbooks for now. But later on, I think I actually am planning to get um um a pro procreate and just get familiarized with it and see how it goes. Maybe yeah. next year. I'm not sure. Yeah, because I'm actually um planning on getting my own iPad because the one I'm using now it's a loan from a friend. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> um, they're I'm expensive. To, yeah, but um, it's okay here. I mean, I mean, I mean, um. The thing is, the problem is I actually wanted to get the iPad earlier this year. I, I had enough cash save, saved up. But thing is, um, this is before COVID and there wasn't any stock. And then when COVID hit, crap. Okay, I think yeah. I have to wait for a while. And even yeah. now, I know that the, the, the 8th gen iPad just came out and I want that. But I think I still have to wait because of the stockage and stuff. And... Um, yeah, and, and then the whole shipping thing because it's it's quite delayed right now. Um, mm -hmm. So hopefully, I am able to get the my own um, eighth gen iPad maybe next year. I don't know. Hopefully, it's ASAP because it'll be it'll be it'll be much cooler to actually you know do it on your own and uh, using your you know, your own iPad rather than <laughs> um, um one which you are on the loan with. <laughs> so some of these, some of these look like you can put like 3D glasses on. What? And can you hear what? me? No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. It seems no, like no. It, it seems like a whole. Um, um, like some of crackling, these crackling still. Okay, now you're mute. I totally can't hear you right now. Some of these feel like. Uh, how about now? Now, um. Crackling still. Am I crackling, or you, can you hear me, or, or am I just crackling? Okay, almost, almost, um, almost good there, but. Should I just get really close? Oh yeah, yeah, this good. Oh, I got. Um, so some of these feel like uh, that uh -oh. you could put three D glasses on. Uh oh, Matt, uh -oh Matt, yeah. It's happening again. Yeah. Uh, so some of these feel like you could put three D glasses on. And what? uh some of these feel like you could put three D glasses on. My glasses off? Some it of these seems... feel some of these I feel like see. you could Huh? So some of these feel like you could put three D glasses on. Can you hear? Uh can you so one second. Okay. I'm gonna keep doing this. Um, you can't hear me. I can't hear you now. Okay, so some of these feel like you can put uh, 3D glasses on, and you you'd have a a, a cool looking effect from because you have these um those blue, red, and yellow uh, colors yeah. overlaid. Have you ever thought about doing that? Yeah, I do actually. Um, I I did it did came to mind of like you know it'd be really cool if I could actually make it. Uh, whole three D when you put on the three D glasses, and then you you will look like whoa, what the hell, right? And that actually prompted me to actually I had an idea to put my work as like a VR on VR. I really I really actually wanted to do a VR walkthrough of my work as in if people come to my show, my exhibition, um, if it's possible, everyone will be given a VR um, a VR specs or or you can actually use the the, the Samsung, I mean, whichever, whichever, which is doable for people, right? So when they walk into my show, it's like, what the hell, dude? <laughs> you know, can you imagine if my kaijus and everything is all hanging and crawling? You know, you know, so it's like, oh, this is the totally mad trip. And <laughs> yeah, that'd be really fun. My, I did actually, um, I, I don't know, I was, I was all thinking about it and then see how I can actually, like, you know, if I can actually do like a, an actual 3D effect. 3D glasses. Yeah. And I feel that'd be cool though. Which is why this one is it's I think this is probably say like phase one maybe. And we'll see what happens next one. Because that because that part I need to figure out as well. Where but I know that someone um um Sightmeister figured it out. He figured it out really well. You remember Sightmeister, Steven Steven Sightmeister? Um he's his um he's a uh, He's one of the world's pretty much a very con the, the best concept designer. Um, 
in well the world I guess because he there's this book like a an art book of his um if you google Steven Sightmeister uh Sightmeister um dog 3d book cover you you see that his his the book cover is very holographic and it's 3d like it's in the red and red and green kind of thing so he actually made that happen as a as a book cover and um it's it's sort of holographic and 3d as well but i think it's more of a 3d thing with the 3d illusion without putting on the 3d specs you know which is kind of cool um that would be something i would need to figure out <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he did it, yeah, duh, just small scale, right? I mean, if it's freaking large scale, like, <laughs> so that, that would take a little bit of petting and tinkering here and there you know, and, and see how it works, I guess. Mm -hmm. So do you have um, any special <laughs> techniques, any special techniques in your, that you use in your work? Um, like secret techniques no one knows. I guess to I, I guess for the whole achieving the whole layering look, it's more of um, how you wanna how how, how you wanna um, layer them because I normally it's not it's, I wouldn't say a technique I would say it's more of a process rather than a technique because the techniques I'm using it's pretty much uh, what everyone does is just painting over stuff and layering and figuring out um, what color makes it looks. Um, uh, creating a depth of feel, um, one color for another, and how the color um, overlays with each other. Um, that a bit the overlaying of colors is fine on on the iPad in digital, but when you're painting it on actual surface and using acrylic, it's kind of tricky sometimes because right now for my acrylic to make it the colorful ones right, I actually um, make them less opaque, more translucent. So that um, not all, some certain colors, certain, certain colors of acrylics are pretty, they're pretty translucent, so it's, I'm okay with that. But some are quite opaque, so I need to like, you know, water them down, get it, you know, get it, get it to, to, to how you say, get the overlay effect so it looks 3D-ish. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, so that, I think that for me is just more of a process rather than technique, because the technique is, um, Technique is technique is as per as you paint and stuff, and then just to figure out you know what, what strokes you want to do, what what, uh, what shapes you know what patterns you want to do. So I wouldn't say that it's a very technical thing. I think it's more of a process of figuring out you know how you want to overlay your colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Could so, you yeah. could you break down how you start a a, a new artwork, a new piece? What is your process? A new piece, huh? Um, the first thing I would probably do on the huge, large, large uh, um, canvas or board is just putting down the background color. But uh, whether I want to do a whole series of pastel backgrounds or a whole series of dark black or darkish color background. Um, so that comes first with the background. And then once that happens, I'll start drawing or sketching the the kaiju but before i actually go there i do a smaller sketch on my sketch a very, very rough one so it's like okay roughly i'll do this mm, yeah <laughs> and once i'm like i'm happy with it that okay I'll, I'll i'll draw it onto the the the, the paint the, the the primed um board or canvas and then once i get the rough sketches the rough outline done um then I will start. Uh, I start with the color tone of the strokes. Like, what do I want? Do I want it to be red and blue? Do I want it to be uh, pink and green? So the colors which I choose for the outline of the, the kaiju, it's very, um, it's it's very contrasting, and. Sometimes it's contrasting, sometimes it's quite complementary. The reason being is because I want to create that whole riso print effect where, where you have a darker color onto a lighter color, it has this weird overlay and it looks um, silk screen ish. So I feel I have to, I did, once, I, once I'm happy with that, 
the, the whole two color dual tone um, outline thing um, and then I'll start on the painting of you know different parts and what stroke I want to do what kind of um, I don't know shapes on the overlay what kind of look what kind of color tone I want to do and um, I don't really know it until what color until I start doing it <laughs> and then eventually hmm, I think this needs a bit more of you know, this color and this there because sometimes you have too much of this it's like nope <laughs> and then you gotta fix the damn thing it's like oh, shit. <laughs> so so it is kind of tricky sometimes but I, I kind of enjoy it you know like fixing stuff sometimes because mm -hmm. um it's 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 all in the process like I guess it's all it's all part of it as in like um learning what not to do and, and what you can do and not do but 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 you just do it and then you see what happens so and then if it and, and then if it ends up like crap like okay so now how, how do i fix this crap uh, uh yeah i just put it aside first and i just fix two other stuff and then i come back to it and i just figure that shit out <laughs> you know because there's, i think there's no point of just like stressing yourself or like just looking at it because it because it won't do anything good to you, you know, just look at it, you know, cracking your head, and it's like, you know, you can't think straight, right? So, yeah, yeah just go away and, 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 and come back um, the next day or whatever I, I, I do to take my mind off it, right? And then just come back. And then, okay, now I'm just going to like maybe do this or do that. Or sometimes um, so the whole solution part is basically... Um, I don't know, you, you, you sort of figure it out somehow, I don't know how, but for me, it's really weird. I get ideas um, or the light bulb moment. Um, in, um, it's, it's either late night when I'm about to fall asleep, which is phew, stupid. I just keep coming at that time, like, oh my God, shut up, I need to sleep. <laughs> or, yeah. Or, 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 or um, when you're in the bathroom taking a taking a shit or or <laughs> or when you're bathing, right? I don't know why, but but I just just I'm like oh shit no 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 no. So which is why at one point I I I I there's this one designer or illustrator or whatever he I forgot this guy's name right. He actually has like waterproof paper sheets or whatever in the bathroom and mm. waterproof um pants or crayons or whatever shit right. So whenever anything. Uh, you know, pops up and say when he was in, when he's in the shower or when he's like, taking a shit, <laughs> like turn to the to the paper and, and just start moving. I'm like, dude, that is genius. Yeah. So, so yeah, that is it's, it's weird. So, so I think I just comes out at the at the or or how you wanna like fix some stuff. It, it just it just comes to you and you can't really force it. So I've I've learned to um deal with that in this year. I would say. In previous years, nope, I'll be a total OCD freak. We're like, no, 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 I have to settle it now, like now, you know. So, <laughs> so, so yeah. So I, I've learned to like, you know, chill, like chill the f off this year, which is good. And it, it it's been a it's been a year of learning, like, I would say. As I think I think this one is it's quite applicable for everyone, I guess, it's mm -hmm. like learning and self reflection. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I, I think this year it's 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 a good year for anyone who wants to like literally you know, start getting serious for being an artist lah. I guess I don't know. It's just me. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure how it, it is for. Kind of like to re reinvent yourself a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Reboot. Yeah. Reboot. Reset. So, restart. Yeah. Reset. Mm -hmm. You uh um. How long does it usually take to finish uh, for you to finish one of those kaiju pieces? Uh, the 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 three by three piece uh the three by three feet took me maybe say give and take minus the days I'm working um ten to fourteen days I guess to the part where I figure out the Lego parts stitching in the other papers overlaying papers and the transparent bits and um adding my glue PVC noodle straw thing yeah around ten to fourteen days I guess very um, fun yeah it is um. So I need to probably once it's done, I need to send it back to my friend to get it framed, like the, the backing frame for, for the board. Because initially I didn't really know what I want to do with it, right? So I thought like, okay, I'll just paint it over and see where it goes. And then now I'm like, 
doesn't care. I think I need to frame it. So <laughs> I, I told my friend that can can I you know, like because I ordered I actually ordered the, another four by five, four by five feet for the the black and white one. Oh wow! So yeah, so I probably like bring all this back to him, ask him to like frame it back before I start on. Yeah. And MDF is really heavy, so that that yeah. like it can be that's going to be a challenge to hang that piece. Like yeah, is true. it thick? Is it thick no, or is it It's quite thin. It's actually just um 2 centimeters. Okay. Okay. So it might be a hard bo- hard board or is mm-hmm. it MDF? The frame the frame itself uh the thickness of the 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 the, the frame uh backing thing it's literally like i told him to just frame it at how you would how you would do on a, on a stretch canvas the whole um window thing the, the, the cross window thing so the 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 wood he's using um he told me that he he suggested to use just you know, just 2cm wide and let's say 2cm by 2cm wide and 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 you know the width and the, and the and the thickness of it so yeah i think that's it's fine for because it's that's fine for the, the, the MDF board, I mean, which he'll be sticking it on behind, right? Mm-hmm. But if it's canvas, no, it's too thin. So canvas, at least minimum, you need to do it maybe minimum, I think, three quarter of an inch. The minimum minimum thickness for a, a four by five or a three by four feet canvas. So yes, I will need to get this whole bunch to get me framed back to my friend's place. Which transportation could be a, a total bitch because I don't want him to like mess up the little add-ons I already did. <laughs> so oh like, yeah, dude, yeah. Dude, 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 dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. So, why why kaiju's? What 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 made you start kaiju's? Why these monsters? So the story behind this kaiju is right. Um. Is that they these kaiju's came to me at a at a point where um, I've always been drawing characters, and um, then um, I think I had I think this I started drawing these kaiju probably say last last year within the past two years, and I think between the past two years um, <clears throat> Godzilla came out, <laughs> and then before that I was watching. Uh, Crap, what's the movie again? Um, Pacific Rim, right? Oh, yeah. So I, I, I guess these two or three movies kind of, well, got me thinking like, hmm, what if um, I start drawing these guys and put them into really tiny city scales? Like, um, it's kind of like, a, it's kinda like a, a, a tribute or a... a, a uh, reference to uh, you remember the old Ultraman, Japanese Ultraman. Oh yeah, the ones with the red. You know, you know those fun weird where it's back in the sixties or seventies ones. So <laughs> I'm like, hmm, what if I just you know do something fun with that? And, and 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 then that was the that was the beginning part. Towards in towards um like fast forward to now, my story behind for for um these kaijus appearing behind basically um, around KL buildings is because I feel that um, I've, I've, to me the story behind them is because these kaijus are I would say mythical that I mean they're not really partially mythical they, <clears throat> they exist right they exist like centuries before us before you know mankind right and they are here because I think we needed them. Um, they can't, they won't appear to us as the world, to the human race or adults for that matter, because it's not the time, it's not the right time yet. It's not the right moment. And um, as you can see from all monster movies, we know what happens, right? It's when, you know, we can see them. So, um, they are protectors. They are watchers. They protect us from whatever um, bad stuff, you know, invasion maybe. Um, um, so in a way, they are sort of like invisible Avengers 
um, and each of them do have the superpowers. I haven't figured that part out yet. But and only kids can see them because, um, you know, kids, I mean, they're never going to shoot them. They're never going like, to start firing missiles at them. And that's my and, and and which is why they only appear to kids. And only kids can see them. Um, and um, what else? And yeah, I mean, like I said, they they are our protectors. They 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 are gentle kawaii kaijus. Um, they may look huge and weird, but but they're fine. They're harmless. Unless provoked, provoked, unless they're provoked, like really odd, like when you piss them off, right, for no freaking reason, then you're asking for it, like basically, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they are mainly to me protectors, like how um, Takashi Murakami did his um, 120 um, gods. I forgot, they had, he had a name for it, for the gods. I'm not sure it's a Japanese name. So those, he said that they are like protectors and they look after and they watch over us, you know, protecting us and stuff. So it's 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 sort of similar but different, um, because in most Asian cultures, um, original cultures, there's even with their gods and whatever not, there's always a number of them who are protectors, right? And um, we don't see them for obvious reasons, and. They do exist. They they are around us. It's just that we don't see them um, unless you are unless you are a clairvoyant or you are a medium, which I know a few people do are. <laughs> so um, it's it's. I think I think it has play has a plays a, a huge part in, in in the whole Asian culture, and um, I'm not sure if this really uh, applies or it or it um, reflect or or. And I would say um, relate to, to to the Western culture. Maybe maybe I'm not sure, right? But the reason why I put it as kaiju, right? Because for you guys, you guys can relate. It's more relatable, kaijus and stuff, right? Compared to um, for us as seeing it for us for, um, as them being as uh, protectors and and um, creature like protectors. Because for us, it's I guess it's kind of normal because um, in our mythology and all this whatever stories we heard from your kids there there are you know stuff like this right so it's well yeah we, we kind of you know um we don't find it like some something really weird or or um out of the norm so we we know we kind of grew up with it and we know that they are there um just that you know yeah <laughs> did you did you draw kaijus as a kid or any type of monsters? Sorry? Did you draw any kaijus as a kid? The I what? Did you draw any kaijus as a kid? Um, no, actually. Um, I, I when I, when I was a kid, um, I didn't draw much kaijus because um, because from what my mom told me when I was a kid, I think well around three. Yeah, I started drawing when I was three, I think. Um, so she told me that. Um, I didn't start drawing weird characters. I only started drawing weird characters. Uh, probably in my early to uh, late 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 teens, early twenties. But I, I I think maybe back in college. I think when I was like massively influenced by um, Dave McKean. Um, he he was my like, idol for the longest time in, in back back in ninety eight, where he did all the covers for uh, Neil Gaiman's um, Sandman. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. So after looking at his stuff, and then I also have a big. I I am also a big fan of um Dali's work, and and you know, all, all a few a few of the crazy masters like basically Dali's uh, Dali and uh, Picasso and uh, Van Gogh. And a bit of Juan Miro, so so they are what sort of in, kind of like influenced me in some ways, but I think in recent years, as I discovered more and more um like current and, and living artists, 
um, the one which actually is um, how it influenced me the most would probably be uh, Takashi Murakami, um, John Bergman. I met I met John. John actually came down to KL for artist talks. I met him. Um, signed my, I bought his um, pens are fun to pens are your friends book, which is kind of cool. And then, yeah. So, so, okay, that's that's another story. But yeah. Um, so I, I John Bergman, um, Takashi Murakami. Um, there's a few more which I sort of forgot, but but Basquiat has some influences in there as well, mm-hmm. um, and I think that I'm I'm initially before I want to become an artist or or, or a designer, you know, um, this but before I want to become you know more of a design art based kind of job, right? Um, I actually wanted to be a film director. This was back when I was in college and. Um, so film directors played, film directors and writers um, actually played quite a, a huge part of, you know, of my art, I guess, and design, as you can see, because um, I, I mean, I think, I think the few directors which I, um, I would say, um, liked is literally um, Christopher Nolan and Tarantino and... Um, um, David Lynch, Lynch, Finch, Lynch, oh shit. <laughs> and, then, um, and then obviously, you know, you have Lucas and then you have Spielberg, you know, the big guns, to, you know, and then um, um, who else? Yeah, this couple, couple, couple of these guys, but they, I think, and then eventually I discovered really cool um, foreign film directors like Del Toro, and then my most, uh, most favorite Asian di- film director is uh, Wong Gawai. Um, he did uh, in the mood for love and uh, in the mood for love and the two hundred four six. It's it's really like he he's like the Godard of uh, of Asia sort of, but not so not 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 so artsy like Godard lah, right? And yeah, so um, having said that, um, so which is the, the, so all this influence sort of makes get, gets mixed up in my art somehow. One way or the other, from films and and um, the artists, and then yeah, music, music. This music wise, I don't really draw a lot of music stuff. Um, in my art, sometimes, sometimes I don't know. Um, but I do listen to obviously I do I do I do need music when I work. I've been I've been I've been doing that since I don't know since. A long time, I guess. I'm not <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, maybe as a kid, I'm not sure. Even even when I was a kid, when I when I when I painted stuff and did stuff like like art, um, like art in school and and um, art assignments in school in high school. Um, I think I leave the TV on. Yeah, uh-huh. you know, back then when there's TV and CRT, living room, blah blah. You know, so I I tend to leave the TV on, and then once I remember when I um, I've got my do you remember that Sony Sport Mini Compo thing, the yellow one, which is really cool? You can carry it around. The Sony. The 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 uh, like uh, Walkman. Um, not Walkman. The um, uh, they call it the Mini Compo, the beatbox or whatever you call it back then. The, okay, the like a yellow. stereo. Yeah. So I so I think once I got that my little Mini Compo beatbox thing, I started using that to play my <coughs> cassettes. <laughs> <laughs> what are those? Yeah, I know, right? So yeah, I, I, I think once I got that, I started, um, you know, having play music on when I'm doing my art or, or when I'm writing because when I was in when I was ten, I I or eight, I, I did not really plan to do design or going to art. I actually wanted to be a writer, like an author, a book freaking author like Christopher Pike and you know Stephen King and blah blah that but that that changed when I was 16 so you can say I'm a bit fickle minded kind of <laughs> you know when, you, when you're a kid when you're a kid man I mean you do, I didn't really know what I really want to do in a, you know when you're at eight or ten you, I mean you you thought you want to do this but then you, but then um during your senior year in high school it's like hmm maybe not <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah. Mm-hmm. 
that was a great answer. Uh, you really went through like everything there. Uh, thanks for sharing. What? That was a great answer. Sorry, what? Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, that was a great answer. A what? That was a great answer. Thank you for sharing. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I got a question here. Um, can, what advice, what advice, huh? what advice can you give to other artists? What, what? Sorry. What advice can you give to other artists? What if I, what of art? <laughs> What advice can you give to other artists? Huh? Sorry. What if? Can you can okay? You know you know what, Matt? You have your um messenger on, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I can hear you, but but just in case I can't hear you, I'm I'm gonna just I'm gonna just send you um a text. Okay. What advice can you okay. give? To other artists. Huh? Sorry, what is, oh, sorry, I missed, I missed it. What advice can you give to other artists? What would I want to other artists? Advice. Oh, um, don't think so much. Yeah, just, just don't think so much. And, um, I, I guess. It, take, it, take, it takes time to figure out, you know, your style and what you want to do, um, what sort of stuff you want to you want to produce, what sort of stuff you want to make, what style and everything. I think, um, I think you shouldn't worry too much about that because you don't want to label yourself or, or put yourself in this specific category where you are limiting, you know, your art, your um, your creativity, your ideas, you know. Don't don't limit yourself to what the society wants you to be or what people see as an artist. Like, oh, you're a contemporary artist. You're a blah blah blah. I'm like, what, I'm an artist. Why do you need to label me to like you know what category or genre? Um. So you know, don't worry, man. I mean, just do it. You know, and 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 developing your style, developing your character stuff will will come in time. Just uh, just do it and go out there and do it and, and just don't be afraid to um, um, experiment. Try try stuff out. Um, but I, I guess the most important thing is um, don't take stuff too hard and um, just and no matter what people say about um, what you do or, or your art or whatnot, just you know, just filter them out and listen to your gut feeling. Um, listen to you know, I guess your inner voice, which is it sounds really weird, but it is not weird at all. Okay, <laughs> so um, yeah, just 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 go do it. Be and I know, I know, I know. It, this is it. Sounds um, easy, right? But it's really not that. I mean, it, it sounds. It's not that hard, but it is hard in some ways. I mean, I can't. I can't say it's an easy thing to do. It, it's. It's not. I mean, I'm. I myself. I'm, I'm still going through the, the the whole journey thing as as um as to securing a a, a gallery rep or I would say of a potential buyer. So I I've just started, you know, going taking this seriously, but. If you guys out there, you guys are not, <clears throat> at, um, you're not artistically trained. Screw it, man. Just do it. Because I know I've known a few, a lot of few artists, friends of mine. They have the art background. They they didn't go to art college. I mean, I went to art college, but but whatever. Right? I mean, that just that's not the point. The point is that if if you got it and you want to do it, just do it, lah. You know, just um, just don't be afraid of the fact that you're not, you don't have art background or you're not trained in art doesn't mean that you can't be an artist um because this friend of mine nicholas which i just told you he he 
he was ten years, ten years ago he was an artist. He was a music DJ dude, like DJ, um club DJ and then he's, he's managing clubs. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, so and then he, he he went through some shit in his life and really really shitty shit like shit, okay, and and then he said, you know what, enough this shit. I'm I'm gonna do something else and and uh, where I can actually learn and, and explore and and grow as a, as a as a human as a as a person. Like. So I think I think ten years ago he did to do you know what, screw this shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna paint. I'm I'm gonna be an artist. So. He taught me a lot. Um, if if I were to say, like the stuff that he tells me now, um, few years probably say maybe three years ago or five years ago, I wouldn't, I would give a shit, <laughs> and and I would think that whatever he's telling me would be like, uh huh, sure, right, you know, but now I think it makes sense because I think it also has to do with your mentality and how you see things, and that um whatever shit comes to your way you should just i mean yeah you do have to deal with it eventually right but but just in a less negative way because i right now for me i kind of believe that if you stand up positive i mean if you <coughs> um extrude or you or you send up positive energy or vibes whichever way it 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 comes back to you right and you and um and um, I mean, I mean, I guess good things that will start happening, um, little by little, eventually. It, I mean, you won't you won't really see it like instantly. I mean, nothing was instantly, right? So, it, it takes a bit of time and a bit and some effort, as everything else like life. <laughs> so, yeah, I I I would say that would be my advice. Just just keep doing what you're doing. Um, don't stop because it's just because this is what. Other artists taught me as well, and other artists peer tells me as well throughout the past decade or so of um, drawing and, 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 start, and start putting my art out there and stuff like that. Um, um, these are these are actually my artistic artist peers which are pretty successful. Um, one of them, if you wanna find out, check out check out this guy, he's called Kenji Chai. K-E-N-J-I space C H A I. He's, his signature art is his dog. So he's actually known as Kenji Chai, uh, aka Chai Go. So he he does mad graffitis, like on buildings. Um, he's awesome. Just just go check him out. All right. He's yeah. He's he's a, he's a I mean I, he's a good he's a good kid good guy. Um, I knew him, I knew him before he got really. I knew him wow way back, and yeah, just he keep what he told me that just keep doing what I'm doing, and um keep exploring, and um even though you're not good at something, you can just give it a try, and then if it doesn't work out, then man, go back to what you are good at, right? And yeah, so I I I have to thank all these guys for the support as well, and and, and for how they. Give me advice, so which is the same what I'm giving to the rest of the world or to anyone who wants to actually, um, I don't know, start doing art, um, whether is it for fun or whether you wanna like take it to the next level as being like a full time artist, I guess. But the 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 thing is, start something. You know, the most important thing is just start doing something, and then things will flow, you know, if you, if you keep saying that, oh yeah, yeah, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, I'm like, yeah, right, you're not going to do it, hello, <laughs> you're not, you're not going to do it, because it's like putting it on one side, right, and it is not a priority, and you're not investing in yourself, so now, so, you know, I mean, I mean, if let's say you guys have full-time jobs as, you know, designer, whatever, not try to find some time um, to just draw or, or do something which you really want to do other than, um, fixing stupid photos and uh, you know copies and shit like that okay so so yeah just just find just find your me time i guess and um it usually um it i mean i guess it usually starts from there even for me when i was working as a designer and it's like i hate my job man <laughs> yeah. yeah right and then you start doing other stuff which you like and then 
it, it, it's it's a matter of balancing, I guess. And <clears throat> you know, always, always, um, always freelance, whether you have a full time job or not. Always, you know, continue freelance, even though it's a small or big, even though it's not really consistent, but just keep doing that. And um, once um, your freelance, you know, like the whole transition thing. Once your freelance stuff, it's it's getting better. You just take it over your. You know, and you're getting better pay and better stuff. You no, know, just switch. You know, just do the switch. Like switch. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what a lot of my um, graffiti friends do. Um, before they became like a well in demand graffiti artist from 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 Nike and Red Bull and um, um, you know the big guys, right? Um, they were <coughs> designers and they were doing what I was doing. <coughs> Still am, but now it's more fun for me. Um. So they, they were doing like pretty mundane stuff, but on the side, <clears throat> they kept um, doing graffiti, they kept, um, you know, um, wall jamming, jamming out with their friends or whatever not. And yeah, just keep doing it and people somehow will, you know, notice your shit, right? And yeah. yeah. And I think that right now with, you know, I think with the past, um, I would say the past <clears throat> recent decade or so where um, um, social media has now become life, our life itself. Um, it's the best platform to get the shit out there actually. You know, I, I started, for me, I started, I started putting up my stuff on Behance in 2005, 2006. That's, that's the beginning of digital and internet. Uh, no, 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 sorry, sorry. Let me rephrase. That's the beginning of social media and, and that's when a couple of years later, um, Facebook came in in 2007, 2008. Um, before that, I think um, I was actually using, I was putting on my work on Behance, and then if you remember correctly, Flickr for your photos. And yeah, it's, it's, it's just find the platform which you which you feel most comfortable with and the one that actually works for you. And but for me, I only found out that IG works for me to see um, in recent years, maybe since 2016, before that, no, I don't think I really have a, a platform for me to put up my stuff and um, other than Facebook right but on, on my behind on my on my own my portfolio on behind um, but for me IG worked really well because somehow um, people found um, people approached me for for one euro jobs or whatever commission what they, they said they, they found me through um, my Instagram which is kind of cool so okay so yeah, um, explore, um, find out which platform works for you, um, and yeah, and, and just keep uploading stuff, whatever you do, even even if it's like a process thing, turn the process or work in progress, screw it, just just you know, just put it out there because um, people do tend to like to see process work as well, and with and 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 now that you can actually do time lapse on your iPad and stuff, which is way much more cooler. And yeah. Like, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I, I guess just do it, man. What would your dream project be? Ooh, my dream project. Oh, my God. Okay. My dream project, right? <laughs> would, oh, this is so cool. John Bergman, if you're listening. Hi, John. <laughs> it, my dream project would actually be to literally you and me john you're listening all right you and me will literally fill up a whole room if possible moma nyc or the tate modern um fill up the whole damn room space with our our drawings and what else and then give people paint and stuff and they can just start splashing on our drawings that'd be that'd be cool it's just kind of interactive and it's fun and yeah that's fun that that would be like one of my one one of my ultimate projects which i want to do if not with joy Bergman. um that's one that's the i would say it's up there it's up there with me having the chance to exhibit at the tate modern um creating this crazy um crazy weird installation show thing which i already had in mind what i want to do if i have a show it's, it's going to be the awesome fun fun show right literally like my, what i call my book and and 
it's going to be messy. It's going to be interactive. There'll be weird, there'll, there'll be weird kaiju paper shit hanging from, you know, somewhere. <laughs> and, 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 and it would just make people go, what the hell? Yeah, that's my, that's my, that's my whole point of, for me, if I do on the solo show, it's going to make people go, what the hell, dude, what the hell, dude, you know, like, so yeah, that, that's the feeling I want to get, and I want, I want people to have fun at my show, because I'm also um, quite influenced by Kusama, she is awesome, and I would, and I would personally want to like meet her one day, um, yeah, so her, her, how she had to show off, you know, leaving the whole room white and giving people just round stickers like her, her little circles and stuff, polka dots. Um, that that's fun. So, um, I think my playful concept I just come came from her, and um, the weird stuff is just from everywhere in my stupid crazy mind of mine. You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That that's that's two two. Sorry, not one. That's two. Two big, two big dreams. Yep. Um, do you have any words of wisdom, life advice, or rules to live by that you would like to share? Hmm. Um, no, I don't have any. <laughs> no, I do, I do, I do, I do. I do. Actually, um, I have one, actually. Um, stop fighting with yourself. Right, stop fighting yourself and learn and just let go of things which you can't you know can have control of. And I, I think that's the, the best thing I could you know tell you guys because if this this these are right too it, it may sound simple but it's not but it it's it's the best thing that for me that's the best thing that actually happened. Uh. Um so these these two are, are quite um useful maybe i would say um, uh, i agree yeah the, so the, it takes, yeah it takes a while but yeah. we yeah. uh especially uh when you're beginning you you uh you tend to fight yourself you tend to uh like set yourself up for failure right you you have this you see all these artists and you see wow i want to be exactly like them but maybe you want to draw to that ability, but you don't want to be exactly like that person. You want mm-hmm. to be you, yeah. uh, but your, your, uh, your reality doesn't match that ability yet. And then we'll, you, you will, um, you'll fight yourself. You'll just like, mm-hmm. you'll, you'll have arguments, internal struggles, and you can't let that like yep. beat you down really, uh-huh. you know? All right, May. Um, where can where can we find you? Where can people find you? Um, they can find me on Instagram at this is I am May, all in one word. And they can find me on my on Facebook as this is I am May. Um, give me a shout out if you wanna, you know, drop me a message. Give me a, give me a shout out on my IG. This is I am this is I am May, all in one word as in T H I S. I A M M A L shit. Okay, I just misspelled it. I missed out the is part, but yeah, this is I M A I M I A M M A Y. Um, all in one word, all in lower caps, no spacing, just one straight up. This is I M A. So yeah, that's where you find me. May, thank you very much for uh. uh staying up real late to talk to me no worries. Uh, I, I really do appreciate it i know we had a few hiccups uh i think it's this new feature they have like this feature where it it, it uh it auto adjusts the volume level oh. and it might be causing i might be talking too loud so it's like just throttling me down i don't know uh-huh. um but thank you so much uh for talking to me uh i know we we uh, rescheduled multiple times i really do appreciate mm-hmm. you and I really appreciate you uh, uh, sharing uh, um, a bit about your life and about your artwork. Um, no worries. I mean, I'm going to have fun. And also, thanks for um, you know, the scheduling and everything. And you know, waking up like super early. And I'm really sorry about that. But it's like, I know. <laughs> couldn't be, it couldn't be avoided. Um, for those that are watching, 
please, please smash the subscribe button. I uh, really do appreciate the support. And if you're not doing that, you can hit the like button. Like button. If you're not doing that, you can comment and say this is bad. Don't say that. Don't do that. That's gonna hurt me. It's gonna hurt my feelings. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Pearson out. May. Thank you again. Yep. See ya. Bye. Bye.